Hello, hello, Jamar Shah coming to you today with a special episode of the Valor Lives interview series. Today I'm with the homeboy Danny Farrar. <laughs> and today we have a special announcement. In a few weeks, we're going to be having the Rally in the Valley. So this is an interview about what is Rally in the Valley. So Danny Farrar, the man, the myth, the legend, owner of Soldier Fit, owner of Platoon 22. There's a whole bunch in the community. He's about to run for president, I think. <laughs> Something like that. So, Rally in the Valley, what is that? Do you want me to sit in your lap real quick? No, no, don't okay. sit in my lap. Well, if you want to, but I want to know about Rally in the Valley. It felt like Santa Claus. So Rally in the Valley, uh, really, uh, we're trying to accomplish a couple different things with it. Um, one, obviously, we're trying to bring awareness uh, to the plight that, on average, uh, every single day, 22 vets commit suicide. Um, the other thing that we're looking to do is because Frederick is home for us and you know the community has been so welcoming and, and took me in kind of as an adopted son, um, we want to make sure that we bring uh, an increased tourism, which is the number one revenue generator for Frederick County. So Rally in the Valley is going to be a car show, a Jeep show, a motorcycle show, um, live music all day long, low cash, is the, uh, they had a number one on the radio last year, they just dropped another uh, new signal uh, out, um, they're going to be headlining. And the great part about it is 100% of the proceeds are going to go to fight veteran suicide. Okay, so it's in July, correct? When, when, when in July is it? July 30th. It's at the Frederick Fairgrounds for uh, those people that want to uh, take part in the police escorted motorcycle ride. Uh, they'll be meeting us at Frederick Harley Davidson at 1230 and we have an escort over. Uh, but the event's going to go from about 1 to 10 p.m. at night. Okay, and if I understand correctly, I heard you talk about rallying the valley that you chose this weekend specifically for a special reason, right? Well, not so much for a special reason. Uh, it kind of ended up being worked out. I mean, Frederick is a, is a happening place, as everyone knows. In the summertime, there's a lot going on. Uh, the next two uh, summers, July has five weekends in it. Um, so it gave us a good chance to come out, not really be competing with any of the other awesome events that are going on in Frederick County. Uh, it's going to be an off weekend, so everybody has that free weekend to go out and, and, and be involved. And it gives two years to get our name out there and get built up. Okay, and also is this so? This is going to be something that you're going to do every year, correct? Yeah, the goal is for this to become annual. Actually, what we'd like to see happen is we'd like to see this turn into a, a two-day festival. Uh, we're starting off with uh, country this year, uh, honestly, because insurance is cheaper on country music, um, <laughs> and then hopefully we'll build it out into uh, maybe rock next year. How about rap? Fifty Cent, Eminem. If you listen, Fifty Cent and Eminem want to come to Frederick Fairgrounds and and do it. I was listening to Eminem this morning, so uh, you know if he comes in, we'll play some stand, make everybody happy. Okay. So that's why he was so hyper. Before this interview, he was running around like a crazy man, and it's because of Eminem. So thanks a lot, Marshall. So uh, so in July. Um, also, is this going to be a kid friendly event or what? Yes, hundred percent. It's kid friendly. Uh, that's one of the deal. Martinsburg VA purchased hundred tickets that we're going to be giving away to veterans, so they can come out for free. And one of the things they wanted to do is make sure there was a family-friendly event, so your kids are more than welcome to come out and have a good time. What type of events are you going to have for the kids? Uh, we're going to have a kids' play zone. We're working on some uh, uh, face paint, some clown and stuff, the whole nine yards. But clowns, uh, still, eh, my, maybe the kids scares the grown people. You know, you got to okay. stay away from them a little bit. <laughs> All right. Is there going to be alcohol there? There will be alcohol there. Yes. Okay. We're, um, we're also have a VIP tent. Uh, we have Redskin alumni coming out. Um, Audi is bringing out their uh, uh, their R, the new R8. Um, so there's going to be a bunch of things going on for people to be able to do. Okay, and it's Audi, not Audi. Listen, man. Audi is the grocery listen, store. Did I tell you how to pronounce tomato when you came in here, man? I no, sir. I didn't say tomato. But you got tomato, whatever. <laughs> uh, that's country folks. We can't say that. It was fancy. Uh, what is it? German? Is it a German word? I don't, I don't know. know. Yes, it yeah, is. There you go. See, I don't know how to speak. Hans Minuten. I'm out of it. So, what are some type of food that you guys are looking to bring in? We have a bunch of different uh, food trucks that are coming in. The fairgrounds have their stuff out there, so there'll be plenty of food for everybody to grub out on. Yeah, I even heard you were gonna come out and barbecue for us, which is good. That's not true. And the, and the fancy socks. That is true. Only the fancy socks. So you said by band, you said low cash. So we have low cash, we have Vinyl Rhino. They've uh, won number one band in Frederick uh, several years. We have um, Shane Gamble. Uh, we also have uh, Let There Be Rock School is going to be out there uh, doing it up as well as Southern Charm. Okay, so we got a lot of business owners in, in the community. So a business owner, are, do you have booths available so we can advertise our businesses? Or we what? have booths, we have advertising options, and listen, the uh, community's been out there uh, behind us hard. I think we've done about $26,000 in sponsorship already. Um, we have, a uh, for anybody that's interested, we actually have Handbit is doing an auction uh, deal that's helping us raise money because we have about a hundred uh, guys on motorcycles and one of the bands Operation Rock the Troops uh, With Matthew JC and the All-Stars. They're actually traveling cross-country 
um, and playing music uh, at different venues, military bases along the way. Um, so they're going to be picking up things. They're going to be raffling, uh, not raffling, but auctioning off uh, stuff they pick up from their stops along the way as well. Okay. So you know, you mentioned the motorcycle ride. How far out are these guys coming from? I think that's kind of cool. Uh, these guys are coming out from California. So they're going from California, uh, the southern uh, panhandle of the United States, coming on up. Uh, their last stop is Walter Reed uh, the Friday before. And then they're going to come up here, uh, stay in one of the hotels. We'll get up and we're going to jam out the next day. Okay. Also, is there a, a rain date scheduled? Oh, we, we, if it ain't raining, we ain't training, baby. All right. Hey, I, we float, man. Ain't no melting happening right here. We're good to go. Okay. Um, also, are there any more sponsorships available? Yes, there are sponsorships available. If you want to sponsor, please, by all means, hit us up. Uh, you know, we'll get, we'll get you in contact. And we can tailor them for people if they have a specific interest, whether it's a social media booth, uh, you know, the, the bands, the refreshment center, because people are going to be drinking water. They'll need to hydrate. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get your name on the, the hydration booth, hit us up. How about any type of uh, giveaways, 50-50 uh, draws or like contests, best motorcycle, most tricked out motorcycle, most hydraulics? Actually, I don't think cars do hydraulics anymore. Um, but. You know what? One of the ways that I have uh, found a little bit of success in life is I let people that know what they're doing do what they know, and I don't try to pretend. So we actually have a, a couple of special people that are handling the judging, and so they're putting together all the criteria, so all of that will be coming out soon. Okay. Awesome. And are you going to be riding in from uh, Walter Reed or where? Because I, mean, I know you got a chopper. Is it a chopper or a nah, hog? It's, or? It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a street glide. Um, but uh, it's a, I will be doing. I will be taking part in the police escorted ride from Frederick Harley, uh, but I'll be out there working the night before making sure it's ready to go. Okay. And how many, how many tickets have we sold so far? Oh, we're 90 days out and we're over 400. So, okay. I mean, we're doing really good. I think we're expecting to uh, hit anywhere between – uh, 1500 and 4000 for our first year. Okay, perfect. And then also, from what I understand, if you're not planning on attending the event, you could buy a ticket for a veteran. That way the veteran could get in free. Is that correct? That's absolutely 100% true. Um, we'll be having those options. We'll be work, we're working with WFRE. Uh, they've been uh, an awesome supporter of us. They just started here recently, starting to put it out on the radio a little bit. Um, and that's only going to ramp up as we get closer. Um, but we'll be giving them tickets and they'll be able to uh, give them weight effects and stuff so they can come in. Okay. And I assume everything that somebody needs to know is going to be on your website, correct? Volunteers, purchasing the tickets, if they want to hook up with the one of the motorcycles to ride in, all that's on your website? So if they, there's two different websites they can check out, they can check out platoon22.org. Um, as that would have all the information about the nonprofit. Um, and then if they're interested in finding out more about Rally in the Valley, 22rallyinthevalley.com. Okay. Also, who are some of the vendors that you have that are already going to be out there? Of course, Soldier Fit's going to be out there. Actually, Soldier Fit will not be out there. Okay. Um, the reason Soldier Fit will not be out there is I never, ever, ever want to be accused of, of mixing the two or using one to make profit or what have you. So Soldier Fit is not um, is not going to be one of the main, uh, not going to be out there, period, at all. We, our brand will not be out there. Um, but we do have uh, Harley Davidson of Frederick. They sponsored it. Uh, the Audi dealership, did I say it correctly? Yes, yes, uh, yes. They came in and sponsored it. Uh, we have tons of different uh, other vendors. You caught me off guard with that question, so off the top of my head, I don't know them all. But um, the, our sponsors are listed on our website, so they'll be out there. Okay. Well, I appreciate what you said about Soldier Fit not being there. That shows your integrity, and I, I do I do definitely appreciate that. So uh, let me think of some, some more questions. Um, mm, I really can't. Th oh, cost. What are, what are we looking at to, to get into the event? Uh, prices range, and I don't have all the break, all of it totally memorized, but the prices will range uh, from $22 a ticket for veterans okay. all the way up to $145 for VIP. VIP is, is getting pretty close to being sold out. Uh, so if you want to hang with the Redskins and uh, see Super Bowl rings, even though they were a while back, um, see those Super Bowl rings from a few years ago, uh, you want to go ahead and make sure you get those tickets now. There will also be a, a, a brief meet and greet uh, with the VIP as well. Okay. Now, are you able to tell us which Redskins will be there for people who love Red I'm no. Cowboys, but, you know, I guess Emma Smith was too busy. But, um, so not, no, yet. Not, not yet. Not yet? Yeah. Okay, all right. So anything else you want to say about Rally in the Valley? The main thing is this, is that, you know, this, um, you, you really can't put an emphasis on how important it is for us to get ahead of, of the, the suicide issue. Not just on the veteran side of things, but in, in, in actual American life. I mean, if you look at suicides, they're the 10th leading cause of death in America, but it's the second leading cause of death of young Americans from 15 to 34. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people just don't know that. And so for you people to come out and be able to put a positive 
light behind it, but to be able to generate that conversation that hopefully you come out, you have a great time at Rally in the Valley, but you learn some of the resources, you learn some of the treatment options that are out there, but most importantly, you go back into your community and you're comfortable having that conversation around the dinner table, at the church, or at work with your coworkers so that we can make it hopefully, possibly save somebody's life. Okay. Oh, no, another question that just popped up. Is there only going to be one stage where the band is performing, or are there going to be multiple venues? Or This year, it's all going to be on the grandstands. As, okay. it, as the event starts to grow, we'll, we'll probably uh, pan out from there. Okay. And in between the bands, are veterans going to come up, introduce themselves to the community, maybe share a little bit about their story? There are a couple of vets that are coming out. Uh, a really uh, cool guy from Operation Enduring Warrior. Um, so there will be some sharing of it from there. But we also know that given the venue, given the people are there, you know, to have a good time, uh, we do want to make sure that they it, it really get to enjoy themselves. Um, our whole goal isn't to necessarily ram things down people's throat, but to be able to give them the opportunity to, as they want to meander around, look at some of the booths. The VA will be there uh, to help people, any of the veterans uh, from, that want to get involved. We have representatives from Martinsburg who's going to be on site to help people get logged in and get their whole paperwork process and everything started. So they're going to have those abilities to be able to interact. They're going to have those abilities to learn, but also we're going to make sure that having a great time is, is on the forefront. Perfect. Well, I cannot think of any other questions. So go out there to rallyinthevalley.com or org or... For the Rally in the Valley, you want to go to 22rallyinthevalley.com. For Platoon, you want to go to platoon22.org. Okay, so I will put all that information in the show notes. Also, if you go to my website, valleylives.com, you will be able to see that information. So I will see you guys at Rally in the Valley on... July 30th. July 30th. Go out there, show some valor. That's right. What is that? No, it's this oh, way. Oh, this way. My bad. This way. There you go. And also, support 22... Double deuces. See you guys. Bye.